Okay, looking at hydroponic systems, there are some that require an air stone, air pumps. Uh, there are also some that are called passive, and these basically use a wicking system to be able to transfer the nutrient solution. And as a result, reduce the amount of electrical dependency and can increase the re reliability. So first off, passive or sometimes called simple hydroponic systems utilize what we call capillary action through a wicking system. You can see the two different um, diameters of tubes here. You can see the smaller the diameter, the greater the water can kind of wick or through capillary action move up against the surface tension here. Uh, these wicking systems lack moving parts. It literally is just a um, wicking uh, water that's moving uh, against gravity with no need for moving parts. This can reduce the maintenance and also lower the initial cost to the grower. These passive systems, uh, the nutrient solutions are passively wicked or transported to the root system. You can see here we have an inverted bottle and it's being wicked right to the root system. Also, if you've done chromatography, you can see that same thing here where that solvent front is moving against gravity. It's wicking up the chromatography paper. Substrate selection can be very important. Vermiculite, sawdust, peat moss, and cocoa coir um, can be um, utilized. There's also some uh, rock wool or rock wool like material that can also serve as that wick of water and nutrient solution. This system has no moving parts. It's based on that just natural flow of water based on capillary action. This capillary action is based on the movement of materials and we can see here where we've got the slow movement of water up this substrate. And again, if we remember back from uh, soil types and the clay particles versus sand, sand being much larger particles, uh, example here, clay being much finer or smaller particles, representing here, and we can see as those particle sizes decrease, as that um, diameter of the tube gets smaller, the uh, height that water can be wicked is increased. As a result, this is a very low cost uh, setup and very easy to maintain. Keep in mind, though, the kinds of capillary action, while there are benefits, the media becomes saturated with water, and as a result, very little oxygen can get in. For a scuba diver here, kind of representing that. Uh, roots need to breathe, they need to respire, they need to take in um, oxygen. As a result, this can reduce the efficiency of the system. So when we're looking at capillary action, think of like saturating a sponge, the more water that comes in, sadly, the less air there will be. There's a theoretical maximum there, uh, but if we oversaturate the solution and overhold the water, yields will decrease simply because of the lack of oxygen being able to supply to the roots, cutting down their rate of respiration.